Hi guys, it's Karina here, and uh, today, let's just move this mouse out of the way. Uh, today I wanted to just do a quick video about comparing your work to work of others and comparing it to work that you've done yourself. So I know a lot of us who um, just recently started out um, really we, we kind of expect to get good right away and um, you know for some people who are lucky that happens uh, but then there's some of us who you know we really have to work at um, our craft here to get it to the way we want it to look and during those times we often judge ourselves and you know compare our work to works of others and it's it's really not a good thing to do um, and to be honest um, right here this book right here this book is there goes my camera one second let's try this again there we go, let's see if that works. This book here is the first journal that I ever created and it was done in 2013. And I have come a long way since working in this book. So I just wanted to, like, I, I know I've done a journal flip through um, of a couple of these books already, but I just want to flip through them again in this video to show you that, you know, as time goes, you will progress. And for anyone who's having those struggles and thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get anywhere, my work is horrible, I don't know why I'm doing this, you know, you're asking yourself, yourself all of these questions like don't give up like you know keep working with it and um, eventually you'll get to where you want to be um, by no means am I saying my past work was horrible whatsoever you know at the stage of me um, at the time that I was working in these books this is what I wanted to do this is my you know I was experimenting trying things out and um, all that fun stuff so my, my past work is good, but I really do like my, my current work a lot better because it's more of what I was aiming to do, more of what I want to do, and I can see, you know, going through my sketchbooks and everything that I am gradually getting better, and that's what you need to look for, and that's what you need to keep in your mind when you're telling yourself your work is horrible because it's not horrible. It's just in those, you know, slow learning stages. That's Everyone has to go through it, so um, just don't give up. So before I look into the journals, I just want to say, you know, don't compare your work to others. You know, there are some people that I follow on YouTube and on Facebook. They have been doing this stuff for years and years and years and years. And like I said, I only started working in sketchbooks and journals and everything. Like, I used to draw a lot when I was a kid, uh, but I never used to keep sketchbooks or anything. So this book here, like these three books, these are my first three uh, books that I've ever done. And um, I learned not to compare myself to others because just because I'm just starting, you know, I'm just starting out. I don't know everything that these other people know. I don't know all their techniques. I don't know all of their skills. So just keep in mind that you are where you are and, you know, don't compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. That's the, the thing that I've seen quite a bit, um, what I've heard people saying. So just keep that in mind. So I'm not going to go through every single page here because, I, like I said, I have done flip through of these books on my channel before. But I just wanted to show you the progression in my work in like one video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So like these are some of the pages that I created back in 2013, July 26, 2013. I always find that if you date your your pages, then it's easy for you to see the progression because you have a date to go with the, the page. And at this time I was just doing a lot of mixed media and my characters look like this quite a bit. And um, I was, yeah, into using a whole bunch of different stuff, and I, you know, I have stuff in here from the mo for the tickets from the movies, and it was basically whatever I could fit in here, then I would fit in here, um, and I wasn't really looking at much of illustration at that time. I really like this picture, um, but I wish I didn't add so much to it. Um, but yeah, these, this is some of the stuff that I used to do, and again, my, um, 
my girls and some of the things I did wasn't quite that great um, at the time like looking like it was good but like compared to the things that I can do now it's it's a lot it's not as good does that make any sense um, but again what I do now is a completely different style so I'm comparing um, two different art techniques two different art styles so that's pretty much like these are the girls that I used to create they're very painterly um, let's see here so that's pretty much all of this one there's just some like more mixed media stuff and everything in the back and like I said I was more into expressing like my ideas and thoughts and everything so I was using this as a journal and everything as well what else is in here so that's pretty much for that book now that was the first one that I ever did and it's pretty chunky so that was when was the last page done it was this went to April 24th of 2014 so it took me almost a year to complete it so then this one here is the next one that I did now even with this one you can see the progression in my work as well again there's still um, not so much mixed media in this one I kind of went I kind of went away from the mixed media after a while but there is still some and then you can still see that I did some personal journaling and this is what my girls look like then so just keep these pictures in mind um, so the this is the characters that I was drawing and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these at all it's just completely different compared to what I do now This is one of my favorite journal pages, actually, because it's really, um, I really like this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I was mostly like going on YouTube and learning from other people and um, trying out new techniques and trying to head in a direction that I wanted to go. And it's only been this past... Um, past couple of years or maybe the past year that I really enjoyed um, doing illustration and this is a point in time right here where I realized that I kind of wanted to move more towards that illustrator um, type effect uh, this was from um, Tamara Laporte's class. I, I don't remember it, but I found it in January of 2015, kind of around the same time um, that I did the first Lifebook lesson. And throughout my first year of doing Lifebook was when I really realized, like pretty, like halfway through the year, that you know I'm done with this mixed media stuff, like to this extent. And I really wanted to. Um, this is me when I was a kid. Um, that I really wanted to move towards watercolors and um, the more illustrator feel. So these are the characters that I used to do. I have one more book here that I'm going to show you before before I get into my newer stuff. So this is just a quick flip through. This one was April 2014. So I was doing this book and this book pretty much at the same time. So again keep in mind the characters that I'm showing you in the book and you can see the progression that I've made so still a lot of mixed media but not to the extent it was in my last book my girls were always very wide-eyed um, in these and my expressions are pretty much all the same and they still are now but you can you can see that I'm trying to get better so this is the first um, second face like this that I ever did and I like this one a lot better than this one so you can even see the difference between the two still not the best but it's getting there right and I did some Picasso stuff and I had a lot of fun with those and uh, yeah, some angels, and that's pretty much the end of that one. So, getting into the work that I do now. This book that I'm going to show you was from May. 
and this one is more of um, there's a little bit of acrylic in it and there's mostly it's mostly gearing towards um, just watercolor paintings so again you can see that my characters are changing slightly and some of this stuff is things that I've learned from doing life book and everything as well so again, you can definitely see the change in the way that I'm drawing my characters. They don't look as, um, I'm going to say cartoony. Um, not, not that there's anything wrong with a cartoony look. It's just um, I was trying to be a little bit more realistic with my characters. This is the first uh, male face I ever did. And uh, not too bad for my first try. Not too bad for my first try. So again, you can see the difference in the faces of my characters compared to, let's, let's bring out this book here. So this is the difference. This book, this page here was May 3rd, 2014. This one was um, August 23rd of 2015. So even in just, you know, slightly over a year, you can see the difference in the characters that I was drawing. So for those of you who think that you're not going to get better, you eventually will if you continue to practice. And you can continue to see um, the difference in my characters as I go in this book. They don't look as whimsical. I don't know what I was trying to go with here. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, so you can see that I tried to get more, um, more of an, an anime realistic, um, I guess that's the only way I can put it, effect to my my pictures. And then back here, no one's seen this part of my book yet because this was for the 29 faces of February um, and I didn't get it all uh, colored in but all the sketches are there so like this is the progression of my characters um, from two years ago. So as you can, like, like I said, like I keep saying, if you practice, 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 you'll eventually get to where you're going and um, yeah, things, things will get better. Just don't give up on it. So I'm not going to flip through all of these because they're, uh, they're not all finished. Um, so I'm going to do a flip through of the 29 faces of February of this later. And this is the newest book that I'm creating here. So this is what my characters look like now. So this is everything. Um, this, this was started in March of this year. So this is now what my characters look like. So instead of drawing faces, I'm gone to learning how to draw complete bodies. Though I still do like mermaids. And I'm adding in clothing and accessories and the hair and I'm trying Copics and trying new things. Um, so if you hear noise in the background, that's my dogs. But these are, this is my newest video, or my, my last video. And um, yeah, so again, don't, this video is for those people who, who think they're not gonna get any better. So as you can see, um, you get better. Like I said, if you, if you practice and you keep at it, um, you know, don't get frustrated, don't give up, and just keep, keep working at stuff and uh, you'll get to where you're going because you can you can clearly see the difference between the two I mean this one is not as you know off as the other ones but I don't have a cartoony when I picked the wrong book anyway um, I'm sure you guys get the point that I'm trying to make keep working don't get frustrated don't compare yourself to others you will get to where you're going and I just wanted to make this little video and uh, show you guys like I said the progression that I made and I really hope you enjoyed it I know there's a lot of uh, mindless babbling in here but I really did just want to um, give you guys a little bit of a motivational speech so to speak <laughs> but that's it for my video today and if you have any questions concerns or comments or if you're new and would like some advice you know leave me leave me a, a message in the comments down there and um, I read all my comments and I do my best to reply to all of them as well and uh, if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up 
And uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future videos. And again, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.